Hello everybody, this is William Amzalag and I want to welcome you into our fourth episode of Jeunesse Longevity TV. Jeunesse, we are redefining youth. To be born is not a crime. So why should we be all sentenced to death? Is death inevitable? Well, you may be surprised to learn that aging and death has not existed forever. Four and a half billion years ago, a single cell came into existence. This single cell did not age. It had the capacity to divide indefinitely. But three billion years after, some of the cells started to form organisms such as worm, fish, and finally humans. However, the cells were aging, and their ability to reproduce indefinitely came to an end. And today we know why. Those cells, we call them somatic cells, contain a gene that controls the production of telomerase. And this gene was and still is turned off. Without the ability to produce telomerase, the telomeres will become shortened and cells will die. So why there is so much discrepancies in longevity between human and other animals? Let me give you some examples. Have you heard about George? George is an American lobster which was born in 1869 and is now 140 years old. He was a sort of mascot in a New York restaurant and got released in the ocean in 2010. He's probably still alive. How come? Are lobsters immortal? Not exactly, but they do not die of old age because their telomeras is constantly turned on, so the cells do not die. However, they are sensitive to infection in their shell and they may die from this disease. In Japan, koi fish are known to live very long. They are beautiful fish, usually white with red spot. Some have been given names, and the most famous fish, Hanako, who died in July 1977, was 226 years old. Some turtles also live very long, and one of them, Adwaita, from Seychelles, has lived nearly 250 years. There are even some species which has indefinite longevity, like the bacteria called Arthrobacter, who can be dormant for thousands of years and suddenly wake up. Hydra is the most unique species defying death. When part of his body is cut off, the body regenerates in two or three days. Hydra will be potentially immortal because it contains stem cells. In case of injury, the stem cells differentiate to form the missing cells and rebuild the missing part. If some animals can have indefinite longevity, why should we we'll be sentenced to death? In other words, do we currently have the knowledge and the technology to live forever? At this precise moment, the answer is no. But here is what we do know. We can already reverse aging in human cells. What we don't know for sure is whether we can reverse aging in you or in me. 
we can drastically slow down diseases and the aging process far more than people realize. But we don't have yet the magic bullet to extend forever human life. So what it will take to keep us alive long enough? In Jeunesse, our generation young believe that we can live enough to live forever, which means that we design temporary solutions as DNA repair, telomerase activation, and stem cell support in order to still be here and still around to benefit from another Nobel Prize scientist, which may give us another solution for the next 20 years that will give us time to wait for the next discovery, and so on. Yes. Immortality is just around the corner. My name is William Amzalag and I am Generation Young. See you at the next episode. Thank you. Jeunesse, we are redefining youth.